pieces that are that we worked on this week and we're gonna I'm gonna stream one waiting on Mark who left with the students to go get a drink of some kind of weird one guy was from the Bahamas and some kind of weird uh, I don't know shot drink something from the Bahamas so hopefully he'll be back and I can get out of here um, but until then I am gonna stream a the next up data recovery which is an iPhone 6s and this is what the note says iPhone 6s device previously taken to a local Apple authorized service provider for a straight-up screen replacement the techs reported a burning smell and returned the phone to the customer sorry we can't help you um, the phone came into our shop DOA our techs investigated the board replaced diode 4020 and diode 4021 those are backlight diodes still no reason found customer only wants the camera roll so let's see if we can figure this one out let's see let's here's the board and i'll take off the sticker it was sent board only they did send the passcode so that's that's a big plus and Physical presentation, it looks like this top CPU shield has been desoldered. So let's take a look under the microscope. <coughs> under the microscope, under the microscope we go. All right, here we go. So this is, hmm, I see a little heat ball here on a VCC main cap. This all looks fairly normal. Let's look up here at the backlight area. So they've taken off the gaskets and let's see if somebody's been in the filter area. And they they have, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Some solder balls in there. It's hard to tell whether or not these filters were replaced or not lot of dig out. Let's go ahead and take off this shield because the shield looks pretty janky. Let's kind of look to see the side of it. Yep, so that has been ripped off before. So we'll take it off with some heat. <coughs> All right, extreme data edition, data recovery. My favorite says Joe Ham. Joe Ham doesn't need any help with data recovery. He is doing fantastic. So let's see. What do you predict is going on with this phone? All right, so we're gonna just pop off the shield with straight up hot air and see what's under door number one. What's behind door number one? So burning smell for a straight up screen replacement. How do you get a burning smell? On a screen replacement, that's gonna be you shorted the backlight line. Almost certainly. Let's look under let's look under this shield. Does anyone have any idea why my iPhone 6S Plus just turned off during a call and won't turn back on again? I've tried everything from charging it to changing the battery and charring port. Uh, well, if you had sort of a sudden death in an unopened phone, if there was a light drop, you might have a cap that decided to shit the bed and you're going to need, you'll, you'll have a short then that needs to be replaced. Otherwise, you could have a data line failure with the most common being TriStar. Oh, I hear Mark. Oh, goody. All right. So let's look under here. Oh, it's allergy season in New York. <coughs> Jeez. Hey, Mark, where the to? fuck have you been? Uh, at the, the place with the people. Uh, what place? Uh, we were at Flaherty's. Oh, were you? The place where they have the good margaritas? Yes. And? Which you declined, but... Yeah, because it, it's time to fucking work. The only thing as good as their margaritas is their Irish car bombs. Oh, is that what that was? <laughs> How many did you have? Uh, one. Okay. How many, how many did the students have? Uh, one. We all, we all had around Irish car The bombs. same one? No, no. We, okay. we all had around. 
Um, and then we had uh, some number of Guinnesses that can be drank in two hours. Has it? Yeah, two hours. <laughs> I thought you were like going out to like their car or something to like. I thought we were going to the brewery, but then they were like, "Oh, well, they, they don't have liquor there, so you can't get an Irish car bomb." So we had to go to Flaherty's. I see. Yeah. And everybody's gone on their way back home on these flights and whatever. Oh, they're going to have crazy parties at their hotel rooms that I'm invited to, but I can't go to. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mark. <laughs> Crazy parties, crazy parties in Victor, New York. Can't, can't wait. <laughs> All right, so let's. So this is the replacement diode and replacement other diode and backlight driver. If it looks like these were replaced with heat, because I don't see marks of hand soldering, which means that there would have been heat too close to the backlight driver, and that likely would splooge all the balls together. So that's kind of a drag. So we're working on a 6S backlight, huh? No, we're working on a 6S dead. Guess who killed it? Guess. Ready guess to guess? Guess who killed it. Who killed this 6S? Um, and this is, the, like, the, it was sent in dead. Yeah. You're not going to guess. Here you go. Oh, man. All right, let's... Data recovery. Data recovery. Let's see well, what the current status is. Yeah. Who killed that phone? Who killed this phone? All right, we're going to connect it to DC Power Supply with one of our amazing cables, the power cable for, straight from China with Love that is available on the iPad Rehab Supply Store, adding a bunch of new products that came in. I'll add them later tonight and connect it whoa it has it's consuming 1.53 amps that's way too much before prompt to boot so something with that much current before prompt to boot has to be either battery vcc or since there's a, a connection between battery vcc and vcc main it's more likely vcc main so let's let's um see if it has a vcc main in short all right, let's see. Ordered new microscope, but I don't feel comfortable doing work while watching through the microscope. Well, you're gonna have to work through the microscope. Just get used to it. It takes time. Your, your tweezers and the things you can see through the microscope become extensions of your hand. Extensions of your hand. Yeah, you gotta just look at the microscope for a long time. Get some like cool stuff to, to look at. Maybe your dog's got one of those big fat dog ticks or something cool like that stare at it for a long time and over time your brain will have to learn what to pay attention to and, and what to filter out so our, our brains are really good at figuring out what's important and what's not so if you'll notice right now if you're sitting down if you're sitting on a couch if you're watching this on uh, a screen while you're sitting uh, when you first sat down the message from your ass to your brain you're on the couch stop sitting couch has been engaged do not continue to crouch down you are sitting that was important when you first sat down um, since then those same neurons have been sending that same signal ass has touched couch ass is on couch ass is on couch but your brain is like yeah i know i got that message this doesn't that's not important anymore so you are not aware of that uh, sensation but when i call your attention to it do you feel the sensation of the couch on your ass right now then, then you can, you know, because you're, you suddenly, oh, that's important. So then it's always been there and you pay attention to it. Same thing with learning how to look down a microscope. You initially are looking and you, your brain doesn't know. As I see these, these black circles. What am I supposed to pay attention to? So if you just stare down a microscope for a while, your brain will figure out what's important, the center part, and ignore everything else. And it will, over time, begin to feel very natural. Well, thanks. Now I feel my ass on my chair. All right. Yes. So I'm ready to take a couple of guesses. I'll take three guesses okay. as to who killed this board. I'm not going to okay. say names. Okay. I'm going to give you initials. Okay. SS? What the hell does that mean? Um, those are initials. Uh, okay. Uh, BD? Baby no. Daddy? Uh, JW. <laughs> nope. <laughs> None of those. Who killed this? The Apple authorized service provider. What? Yeah. What? How could they kill it? 
they could kill it by plugging in one of their screens without disconnecting the battery like a noob or you know just like they, plugging miss miss plugging it in or something like that they made it not boot all right we're gonna check for vcc main short are we just fixing backlight no man vc vcc main short from plugging in a battery yeah man what not from plugging in a screen all right, so we do have a VCC main short. VCC main short from. Portland. All right, who here? We've got somebody saying about uh, uh, a, a coil. What? All right, what are we talking about here? Now I feel my ass on the chair. I saw that. Two backlight circuits. Yes, half backlight gone. What? And now your tongue is uncomfortable in your mouth. Is your tongue uncomfortable? It's just so thick. No. There's, there's it's totally fine. a lot of room. I got a big mouth. <laughs> oh, could also be coil on one line. It's not, that's not, this is the second time in an hour that I've heard someone suggest that a coil could be the cause of a short to ground. So the problem mm -hmm. here is a short to ground. And we've got suggestion here mm -hmm. that it's a coil. I saw another suggestion about could it be the backlight coil is why another guy had a VCC main short. So that was like maybe 20 minutes ago when Chris Longstream. Tell me why it's not possible that the backlight coil is the reason why this phone has a short on VCC main. Think about that. What does a coil do? Does a coil have a path to ground? What does it do? What does it look like on the schematic? And you tell me why it can't be the coil that's the reason why we have a short to ground what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off the the uh, backlight driver because the backlight driver is a connection between vcc main and <laughs> the uh, backlight line so let's look at that on the schematic so that we can be crystal clear on what the rationale is here so let me close up a bunch of these other schematics we were looking at today so you need to get your invoices done because I want to get the fuck out of here. You're right. So there's short to VCC main, short to ground on VCC main. Yes. Only history is connect screen, now it's wrecked. Well, connect screen and then went to somebody else who replaced diodes on. Yes. on. Now my question then would be to have a short to ground on VCC main before. I'm going to go with no. To I'm gonna, uh, my bet would be no, it did not. Okay. Well, if it didn't, then yes, backlight driver has to be. Backlight driver. That's what I'm going with. So, backlight driver, iPhone 6S schematic. Okay. Let's let's see. The coil. Dave Rose says the coil don't go to ground. Coil don't go to ground. That's right. Sun don't shine on the coil. All right. iPad rehab read the comments not about your phone mm, that's going to be way too hard okay so let's go to the schematic all right let's look for the let's look at u4020 the backlight driver so let's drill down on that u 4020. Don't forget to use pooper remark. I didn't poop this time. Oh, this time. Okay, great. All right, so here we are at the backlight driver in the iPhone 6S, and we can see the output here is the PPLCM backlight anode line. We can see some diodes. These are the two guys that were replaced, but the diode itself doesn't have a path to ground so even though they were replaced those guys are just draw bridges that now link together these two sides so by themselves they can't be the cause of a short to ground we don't know whether this phone always had a vcc main short and the this whole diode business was completely irrelevant or if placing the diodes caused the vcc main short so we're going to investigate that possibility first that it was actually fine and had a backlight problem that then the work of replacing these diodes, which was done with hot air, we can see under the microscope that the diodes, the diode uh, placement here was done with hot air. And this is the underfilled backlight driver chip. 
So therefore, we're going to go with the theory that the backlight driver chip saw heat. Now let's look at the backlight driver chip itself and see what could be a consequence of heat. So let's look at this inline at D4. That is VCC main. So VCC main connects to and is under the backlight driver. And so is a path to ground. So there we go. We've got a chip that has VCC main and a path to ground that itself is underfilled that we believe saw heat. So our step one is going to be to remove the backlight driver and then we will reassess after that and see what the deal is there. Okay, so let's see. Uh, backlight driver. All right, so let's go ahead and do that under the microscope. We will put a heat sink here on the CPU and we're going to take off the backlight driver. I'm actually going to use my one of the things that I that I really like that we just got in stock for iPad Rehab Supply Store, which is my favorite board holder. Move over, Omnivice. There's a new board holder in town. It's the Find Fix board holder. Da, 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 da. What I like about this board holder, I was doing a NAND replacement job yesterday, is if you desolder the NAND chip, that there's a little spot, a little place to put the NAND chip so that you can work with clean reball the NAND chip right here on this on this board holder. And it's, you know, pretty pretty heavy duty. The drag of it is that you have to get one for um, every, it, you could, this one will only accommodate the iPhone 6 or 6S or some iPads, but it, you need to have a different one if you want to work with a 5 series board or a 6 plus or 6s plus but it fits in here really well and i like that i need that sort of i need it to, to snug in there so that i can scrape underfill around the backlight driver in order to get it to come off nicely so let's go ahead and do that we'll start out with low heat and just get rid of the underfill so that we can get a lift on that chip and then we will reassess and see if we still have a short on VCC main or or no. And here we go, we'll just dig that sucker out. This is why you need a board holder in order to be able to kind of create this kind of pressure on the board. To dig out. This is this underfill is kind of like, I don't know, cross between nail polish and dried paint. What? It's the worst. It is the worst. But the low heat will soften it up considerably. So that... There must be some engineer at Apple that was like, what can we do to make just a make life more? I don't think there's anybody with that with that in their job description. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Now if you had gone to work for Apple Mark, would you have would you have said things like, That's oh. bullshit for repair. They are gonna hate this, so fuck it. <laughs> no, I would have been like, you know what? I think cement would work really well. So you would have been like a <laughs> troll for the repair industry and like no, made it even worse. No, I totally would have advocated for things that made general repair, board repair easier. So he says. All right, so here we go. I need one of them board holders, says Joe Ham. We just got these in today, so we're going to list the six and the six plus one. Um, probably tonight or tomorrow when I go and add items number whatever they are 10 and 11 to the iPad rehab repair store on the website iPad rehab supply which has been a lot of fun I mean it's it's fun for me because I like to try out new toys so I've got a few things to to try out and if they're dumb then you know forget it but if they're cool then we will stock them to make things sort of more readily available without having to wait for China or do a whole lot of kind of trial and error on your own. 
Okay. So let's go to regular desoldering temperature and we're going to take off the driver. Like these green tweezers, I'm kind of torn about. I, I really like them actually for, <laughs> I like them when they get destroyed, which takes about nine seconds after you open the package because they make these like little hooks. This pair is brand new today. They don't like heat, so holding them in this heat it makes them very, very soft. We'll go ahead and pick off, let's go ahead and, and pick off this, this work. And we'll pick off the driver chip. But it, it is a little maddening when you, you buy a pair of of tweezers and then you know an hour later they're they're jacked to hell. Five drops later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, so under the chip. That's what it looks like under the chip. And let's kind of clean up that under the chip underfill. This pad here looks floppy and kind of a little bit in the wrong place. And I'm pretty sure that's the anode line pad. Could be wrong on that. Okay. Why not just buy a new phone? Now where's the fun in that? Also, nobody likes to lose all their data. Nobody really suspects when they go with a working phone into the Apple authorized service provider that they're going to walk out with a dead phone and a, sorry, we can't help you. So I can understand not, not making it a priority that day to make sure that your latest pictures from the kindergarten fair are backed up because you're not, you're not expecting to go in with a working phone with a cracked screen and leave with a dead phone. Nobody would think that. All the mistaken idea that, that the Apple authorized folks actually know how to fix stuff. Who knew? Who knew that that was such bullshit? They can't even change a screen. They can't apparently even change a screen, at least not this one. <laughs> All right, so let's now go see if that, um, if that made any, any difference. All right, so we're going to check to see if we still have a VCC main short. Let's find out. Let's find out if we do. All right. Why say your stock on dongle when I'm trying to order from you? Stock on dongle. I don't know what that possibly means. You're stock on dongle. I got my dongle is stock. Somebody stock on my dongle. All right, let's see. Do we still have a short on VCC main? We do not have a short on VCC main. So there we go. We had a short on VCC main from the backlight driver. So that sounds like our theory was correct, that we had uh, incidents of heat that can't put heat near an underfilled chip without having some side effects. Okay. Teddy Bear, Teddy Betty Bear One says, I have the same board holder and I love it. Okay, so let's see if we have a short on backlight line or not. So let's go ahead and see that. Alrighty. So we're going to put a foot there. And everything seems good. All right. So for data recovery, then, I think that we are probably good to go. Let's see if this phone will boot. Now, the risk is that, and the, the very reasonable risk, is that even though we cleared the problem, 
that the backlight driver itself could have, um, since it has sort of a line to the CPU, it could have corrupted the software, and that is going to be a drag. So we don't need backlight for data, so we're just going to see, actually, let me check to see if we're going to have an image problem. I'm going to look at those image lines and check for image short before we go nuts. All right, so I'm going to put a probe here on ground and just check to make sure we don't have any image line shorts. All right, we do not. I'm going to check to see if we have continuity, a good highway on the 1v8 image line, and we do. Let's just check this filter while we're here for backlight just for interest. And that's good. Okay. All right, so now let's plug it back into the DC uh, power supply and see if this phone will actually boot. Let's see. This is a pretty janky 6S screen. My test screen now has seen seriously better days. In fact, I may, I'm not sure I can even use it at all, but let's find out. All right, I will use DC power supply. And I need a 6S dock. That's a 6 dock. That's a 6 dock. God damn it. All right, I gotta grab a 6S dock. Here we go. I'm gonna change over to this screen that's less janky. The less janky test screen. And I need to pull off the cover so we can see image. If there's going to be an image. Dock. Engage dock. And DC power connection. Okay, now we're going to prompt it to boot. Prompt it to boot. Where can I buy iPhone Logiac for practice? I don't know what an iPhone Logiac is. So you're going to have to clarify that. All right, so I can see an Apple logo. I hear detect, hopefully it's in normal mode. Hopefully you can see Apple logo. Let's just stick this behind the screen and we'll see if it boots up and hopefully has touch. Let's see if it does. I'm gonna click, oh, I see a lock screen. All right, what was the passcode? Yay, touch. Let's see, what was that passcode? Yay! So we are in and we have the trust dialog and now we have a path to data. Yay! All right, so we'll be able to get her picture. So I'm going to pass, hand this off to my ready to recover team. And that is in the done pile. So there you go. Lesson learned on that one is you can't, you really can't put heat by a um, underfilled chip, so hopefully you're, nobody's doing that. And the other lesson is that there's really no reason why you would be replacing diodes anyway. If this is a backlight failure, it can come in two flavors. One is that the filter's blown, in which case replace the filter and you're done, or for a success. 
The other would be your diodes are blown, your diodes are bad, and that would only happen if you had a short to ground. The diodes themselves have no path to ground, the coil has no path to ground, so then you have to think, how did I get a short to ground in the backlight line? So you have to figure that out. And it's going to be the, you know, any component that has a path to ground that could have failed in a way that it became a wire to ground. So that means uh, it could be the chip, the backlight driver, that could fail to create a wire to ground on that backlight anode line, or more likely one of the backlight caps. So then you would figure out which cap has become a wire, remove it, and relieve the short. You have to do that. You have to find the primary problem, short to ground. Relieve that primary problem, and then rebuild from there. So if the primary problem had been a short to ground, you relieve that, then you would replace the diodes. There's no reason why you would just replace diodes for, you know, in the middle of a circuit um, and expect that to do anything. And in this case, these guys replace the diodes for no reason. And in doing that, the technical proficiency thing just wasn't there and they ended up overheating the backlight driver. Uh, which caused the short to ground. Either that or they missed the fact that there was a short to ground and they um, just the saw bad diodes and replaced them without thinking, how did they get to be like that? What was the primary problem? All right, so let's see. Um, oh, here's Raj. That is, there's no way that that's Raj. Just, <laughs> no. Uh, after watching your videos and live stream, I realized that using your using brains really helps you solve the problems. Yeah, yes, it does. <laughs> I, I I really don't have a response for that. All right, let's let's see what is on here that that we can that might need an answer. Don't know about stock on dongle. <laughs> Why say your stock on dongle? I don't know. Uh, I can't start speaking Spanish, although I did recover a phone from Peru the other day and, and Senora Todd would have been proud because I had to, I had to, you know, dig to the, to the deep recesses of the brain to come up with a couple of words of Spanish to get through the, the menus there to clear trust dialogue and things like that. Uh, tried a lot to find these hot tweezers in the UK, but I couldn't find. It's the Hako FM 2023, 2023, FM 2023. Apple doesn't fix, only replace, yes. I think he means why you say that you have dongle on stock. I'm trying to get from you. Um, I don't know if, there, if the, there's stock on the dongle. I don't think there is. Uh, I don't think it's listed because I didn't list it recently, so I don't think that there there is ZXW uh, dongles for sale in the iPad rehab supply store. Not right now, there probably will be in the future. So would covering the chip with a coin before doing the diodes protect it? That's the best thing that you could have done. Uh, so hopefully yes. Um, or you could try to, do, to use a different strategy to replace those diodes. But first, why are you replacing the diodes? Uh, that's, you'd have to kind of really think about that. I don't want to get a refurbished phone when I need to go in for a glass replacement. Then you should go to a, a local independent repair shop that actually knows how to fix stuff and you can tell which ones do by looking at their reviews, looking at their warranty and talking to them. If you just start talking to them and they know a heck of a lot about iPhones, then you're in the right place. All right, thermal mass prevents it heating up. Uh, what? <laughs> What does the heat on underfilled chips do? Expand the underfill and pop balls. No, it doesn't expand the underfill, so let's think about that. An uh, underfilled chip, a BGA chip, is made of, of solder balls. In fact, I'll do a quick example for you. I'll do this example, I, I love this example. I'll show you what, the, what, what I'm talking about here. Because I would really love for the whole world to knock this shit off. Drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. One of the examples that we do in class, I think. Uh, here's a board. What? 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 All right. I want the world to stop heating up underfilled chips, and here's why. All right, let's look at this board. This is just a random donor board. Microscope. Oh, oh, are you doing class content on stream? Maybe. 
All right, let's do this. This is important. I want the world to stop doing this I, shit. I want them to also. Yeah, I mean, I, I really want, I want <laughs> everyone to know this. All right, let's pick a chip. Let's pick two chips that are pretty much the same. We're gonna pick this chip. So let's look at that chip. And we're gonna pick a similarly sized chip. That guy looks a whole lot like this guy. Two chips, pretty much the same, but in two different areas of the board. All right, so let's, let's heat up this one. So we're gonna heat this chip up. We're just gonna reflow it. Reflowing is generally a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna reflow this chip just for fun. All right, here we go. As soon as I can get this iron out. Let's see what happens. All right. Let's heat this up. And that means we're also gonna heat up all the dudes around it. We're gonna heat it up until we turn the solder under it into liquid, reflow it. So I'm putting heat on it, everybody can see that. I'm watching this chip. And it just turned shiny so I can nudge it. Watch me nudge it. Got a big brown honey. Look there, it's, it's liquid, it's floating. Whee! I can even put more flux there and it'll go back home. I can also, while it's hot, these guys are hot, so I can move them around if I wanted to. Everybody's liquid. Everybody's moving. There we go. Okay, so I just heated up that chip. I put a lot of heat on there just for the example of it. Now let's look. Let's look and see if we're any worse for the wear around here. Let's look. So I see some, some caps, I see my chip, I see everybody around this area, and they all look pretty much the same as before I started that. Now this area does not have any underfill. I can go all the way down to the board. There's no underfill here. It's just a chip loose. So let's think about that. Let's think about what does that mean. What happens when you heat metal? It expands and then when it cools down it's going to contract so that's pretty much what happened here we heated it up and just by uh, laws of physics metal expanded and then it contracted now let's do the same thing in an area of the board that's covered with underfill that means the balls are they're ensconced in this black electronic super glue so let's see what happens when we do the exact same thing only difference is that we're picking an area of the board where same size chip but it does have underfill so let's look here we go so here's our other chip and now we can see this black tar of underfill it's going to be under the chip and around it all right so let's add some flux there we're going to add our disgusting amtec that i can't believe i have to use oh i could barf I could take all of that back to florida if you Ugh. It smells so good. Have you noticed how good it smells? No, I just noticed that it looks like jizz and it's got shit floating in it and I don't like any of that. No, it doesn't have shit floating in it. Yeah, it does. Look at it. I can see heat it up. particles. It clears, it clears right I don't want to have to heat it. If that's like <laughs> saying like, oh, that's not, it's fine. If you heat it up, it's like water. No. Fuck it, it's snot right now no. and no. No. Yes. Amtec is the best. It's disgusting. It's the best flux. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a quarter, a heat sink over here so that I don't bother the power management chip. But here, I am going to heat it up just like we did in the other one. Here we go. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna heat this chip so that we can, in theory, move it. It's fine. It's totally fine, 100%. Yeah. I, mean, I, I do that all the time. What? Heat up underfill chip? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. So we must have enough heat because up, oh, yep, these guys are liquid. Let me try to nudge the chip. Just try to nudge it. Nudge, nudge. Up. Oh, I can't nudge it because it's got underfill everywhere, so it's not going anywhere. It's glued down. Okay. And that's about the same then. And let's let that cool down. I'll take off my heat sink. <coughs> and let's see what happens. So remember, 
back over here at our first chip, we're really no worse for the wear. And now let's look at what happened. Same procedure on our underfilled chip and what the hell? Who came, who came in here and sprinkled BBs? Look at that. Where did these come from? Look at that. It looks like they're, could they be coming out? Of, from under the chip look at that look at no the, where did they come from That's... what look at all these balls what look at that one that one is soldered itself to this cap kick it out it's kind of hard to do look at that big ball look at this these guys now shorted together click kick that off and just look at these caps they're all they, they all have like misshapen ears now they look like anvils instead of no, little fine. capacitors oh they're fine yeah <laughs> all right so what is the deal how what's the explanation what happened this is why you can't put heat near underfilled chips it's not okay you can't rehot the cpu bro you cannot do that you, if you if you bring something up to soldering temperatures to actually make a difference you're asking those metal balls to expand. They're gonna expand. They have to expand. That's the way heat works on metal. And when they expand, when that pressure builds up, that pressure's gotta go somewhere. And what's gonna happen when that is sort of enshrined in this black super glue, this hard, tacky, difficult substance, the pressure is gonna build up and it is gonna squirt out spooging together between different balls and you can see how that happened looking especially at the caps and thinking about that sort of pressure pressure situation pressure cooker when things get hot <coughs> the balls are going to need to release yes how is that how long it take you to think about that <laughs> all right so if you look here at the at these caps these guys at least didn't really have underfill on top of them so the pressure buildup just squirts out the top you know mark just squirts right out the top <laughs> squirts right out the pressure builds up until it just has this solder ejaculation right at the top <laughs> of these of these caps the same thing is happening under the chip where is the, if this chip doesn't have a condom of just this free and open top. You know, this, this chip is going to have to just have the balls just squirt together. A little incest going on under there. You don't this want is a that. giant incestuous chip under there. It's Believe just disgusting. You don't want, you you don't want the balls to touch. It's really... Yeah, you don't want the balls to touch. So that's the deal. That is why. So that's the answer to what does heat on underfilled chips do? Expand the underfill? No. And pop balls? No. Underfill's not the bad guy. Underfill's just a coat. I mean, yeah. that, that's reasonable, though. The, I mean, the underfill, like, that's what happens with the little peckers on the 6 plus touch. The underfill expands and it pops them off. So it's, it's reasonable to think that that's an outcome of heat on an underfilled chip is that the underfill expands and pops the chip off the balls. Maybe. But, what really happens is the the balls expand right and and then they mix together and you got one ball rubbing on other balls and rubbing on other don't balls. ever want that no never all right and now let's look at the nearby power management chip where i had a quarter on here and you can see um like a, a lot less was going on over there that was kind of protected yeah the old heat sink the old heat sink trick Okay, so let's see what else. I tried to order from their website, but never got a reply from them. I don't know what you're talking about. Lots of people have ordered from the website. Lots of orders have shipped, and I haven't heard any problems. Uh, and plus, if you, if, you, if you do call today, you probably won't get an answer, because <laughs> me and Mark are in charge of the business phone, and we're not, <laughs> we're not really good at it. I didn't turn the ringer off. I didn't turn the ringer back on. <laughs> well, I didn't turn it off, so okay. it's totally not... Well, I, the business phone is getting ready to run out of batteries. Oh, by the way, there's a, bunch, there's a couple of people that are definitely your tickets. That I, made, I wrote down on that yellow piece of paper a bunch of people we have to call back. Okay. And now it looks like there's a bunch more. Great. So
so we'll get right to that. iPad rehab, you look tired. Well, yes, because the <laughs> That's fucking Friday course. Friday on course week. Yeah, Friday on course week. It is. Uh, one of us went and drank a bunch of whatever car jacker bomb or whatever that the hell it's was. Irish car bomb. Okay, uh, and one of us has just been sitting here doing work. Uh, this, so yeah, we're we're course week is super fun, but it's kind of like the last day of summer camp. That's for sure. Video quality need work. This guy's a douche, man. <laughs> man, you don't like anything. There's no, I give up, Jesus. There's no please in you. Just, <laughs> just, I quit. <laughs> All right, let's see. Video quality is fine. Yay! Oh, <laughs> Where can I find iPhone Logic for practice? Try another link, Jesus. Uh, what does that mean? A name is required. Is that that guy's name? I didn't see it's, that. It, he's oh. he's explaining what I. Yeah, I know, but this this, this part the the A yeah, is, he, uh, is there somebody who's? I think that would be hilarious so, somebody, if somebody's name was actually a name is required. Hey, you got two bucks. I got two bucks. All right, but it made me skip to the end. All right, where where is the? Where did I go? What do you mean? Who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. What? I, I can't stand it when you when like you. Oh, it is. A name is required. I love that. It's fucking <laughs> well. hilarious. I wanna. I want to have a name that's cool instead of Jessa. All right. So now it doesn't go all the way back. So I'm screwed. For anyone that cares, I'm following up with a law professor at my college who's into open source licensing and law to talk about repair legislation in Nebraska. Fantastic. Um, are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy because I have a giant dick. You would be surprised. But there, there is an operation coming up. So What? You think I'm going to get my dick cut off? No <laughs> way. I need it to like... How, how else could I teach the class by constantly telling people to, that they were going to have to suck my dick? Well, they don't, they don't cut the dick off. They, they like flay it and what? <laughs> don't, don't, don't they? Isn't that no. How that don't is they the, use the like, no, tissues? No, no, that's not how. Do they, how... how do they make a vagina? Oh my god! <laughs> Tell me everything you know about vaginas first. No, no. Structure. No. Yes, I taught a class one time. I taught a class at Prince Review, <laughs> and we had to go over human anatomy, human reproductive anatomy, which was super fun. Menstrual cycle, great topic, and. I drew, I always found it kind of a challenge to, to draw on the board the illustration of, of female external anatomy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, like you have to draw that because you have to point out and label shit, you know. So, so I would draw like this, like set of legs, like, you know, really exaggerated across <laughs> the board. And then I would come back and I would draw this like butt, you know, and it would be like this giant like legs thing. And then right in the center, I would draw three holes. <laughs> one was a dot, one was a circle, and one was an asterisk. <laughs> there you go, yeah. And then I would say, all right, so the female reproductive system, there's the urethra, the vaginal opening, and the anal opening. And I remember one guy like actually raising his hand and going, what? There's three holes? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> And then I remember my other, my friend Sarah South was, was, she taught the same thing and we were both Prince Review teachers. And she just had one of those kind of momentary kind of, when you can't think of a word, and that's starting to happen to me a lot, you know, like older and older. Is so she's standing there. You can't think of a word? <laughs> yeah, what's that word? Amnesia, I don't know. <laughs> and so she was standing there and so she was like, there's the urethral opening, the anal opening, and then she just lost the word vaginal opening. <laughs> and so she just stood there and she's like, and then there's the... Um, the vulva hole. The... And then she <laughs> said, and then, and then there's the special hole. Did you just <laughs> fart on live stream? What no. the fuck? Yes, you did. I didn't. Yes, you did. I would totally own up to that. And you would not have any doubt. I, I don't have any <laughs> doubt right now. But she just said, and then the special hole. And then just tried to move on. You know, I never <laughs> forgot that story. All right. Are you a boy oh, girl? A million we're, Easter we're, eggs. We're 20 minutes behind chat. No, we're not. 17 we're fine. And there's only like six people that watch this shit. <laughs> well, here comes Raj with a question. Question. I need some good quality tweezers. Do you sell them on the iPad rehab supply store? 
Nope, because we can't figure out what the good quality tweezers are. When we do, the answer will be yes. The answer right now is not these. <laughs> Don't buy these ones. They're, they're, I actually love them and I'll continue to buy them because I love the little crochet hooks that they form. <laughs> so great, like so awesome for underfill. But you know, once they, they, they curl up instantly and then they're all kind of, they're just the, like these super- Those curl up instantly? Yes. You need to try the ones I brought that are <coughs> like, an order of magnitude finer than those. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like Do they like make spaghetti and you know like, like kind of one just... chip change and and they're like curly <laughs> cues. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like this one, I'm thinking it looks like a pig's tail. Well, like, I it... mean, because we we got to try different alloys because I'm yeah, these sure are just they... heat sent. They can't take the heat. I mean, they're for working. Can't with, take the like, heat. Get out of this place. Biological samples. Yeah, like and shit, urethral for, opening surgeries yeah. where you got to fillet some dicks. And yeah, like, you're not gonna bend those shit. in your urethra. That's right. <laughs> <coughs> These are, you know, quality. Jason learned a new sentence in Spanish class today. Great. What eyepieces do you use? The stock ones, 10X? I, I use 20X along with 8.5 bar low because that's the right way to do it. All right. Do you have any book you read for iPhone repairs? Yes, Fascinating Womanhood. Great book. Lots of life lessons, <laughs> lessons in there. Give it, give it to all your friends. And it's really fun to read if you're doing a book club or something like that, a little discussion. Jessa, how durable are the aftermarket cold press iPhone 6S screen assembly with the original Apple LCD compared to the original screen assembly? I would ask that to a person that changes screens a lot. I just do board repair. And whatever we order, slap on there and wait to see if anybody complains. Nobody complains, so we just kind of go with that. Thank you, Jessa. Oh, it's Jesus, he's back. It's nope. gonna yell at me. Read the comment. I can't see. I can't. I can't look. <laughs> Your video must have been an old one. Hmm. Can you let me know when some are available? Oh, did I say that we sell the XW tool? Uh, uh, you might have. I'm. I'm. <laughs> it, wait, I'll tell you what. There's the... no way that I'm gonna call you and have you yell at me or talk to your mom and have her yell at me. No, that's not happening. So uh, eventually we will probably list the ZXW tool on the iPad Rehab website, but that would be only after I uh, edit the ridiculous live stream from the last <laughs> time to show you guys how to install it because I don't want to get a whole bunch of phone calls about how do you make this thing work. So next eventually. question is, do you touch <coughs> plus threes? It doesn't say plus three. I'm sure it says PS3. I'm Do you sure touch PS3s? Yes, I'll touch them. I'll pet them, <laughs> feed them, I'll bring them, you know, coconut flakes, I think is what they eat. I'm not really sure. Follow me on Instagram. No. I will, I will in fact, not follow them. Where, where are the mods? Yeah. At? How do I make somebody a mod so that I can get rid of that shit? Uh, what do you have to offer Diego? Isn't that the word for Sunday? I'm pretty sure that's Dora the Explorer's brother. Yes, <laughs> Dora the Explorer's brother Diego, yes. Um, he could come up if he wants to just get a hug. That's all I have for him. I, I Give would him offer, a hug. I would offer him a job if, if he's competent. I don't know. He's a cartoon. I don't see how he could be that competent. Uh, so we got to... What is your view on clone iPhone 7 Plus? Never seen one? Saggy focus. Wow, that's probably saggy focus. That's that's probably the best word to follow up saggy that I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> do you have iPad schematic? Yes, yes, I do. I have all the I have all the schematics that I need. Yes, please clear the microscope. It's blur. Mark, can you take this out? Piss on it or something? <laughs> the internet doesn't like it. <laughs> all right, I download it now. Right. Oh my, Lewis is going to lose his mind. About what? Hmm. Lewis, uh, Lewis has lost his mind a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, implying he hasn't already. Yeah, exactly. What do you mean? <laughs> Lewis is... When did Lewis turn sane? I don't know. <laughs> Lewis was just bitching about uh, being helpful and how it always is abated, how it always uh, comes back. It does smell good. What? Antec flux? Yeah. Oh, that must be exactly. what that's about. Ugh. Ugh. Someone should make a female perfume like Amtec. Oh my God. Yeah, well, I here's mean, a news flash. There's one chick around who thinks Amtec stinks. Like, I, what do I, I know? I take little like bits of Amtec when I'm done yeah. that are still on my fingers and like rub them on Cecilia's neck so that <laughs> when I'm with her, I don't I can, think you actually do I that. I can smell Amtec. I don't think yeah, you it's do true. That. 
I don't think so. Do you like squirt a little bit inside a condom ahead of time? Is that what it's, is that why it looks the way it does? It's like that, like a second. Use. <laughs> Agree with Kenny Rogers. All the way. <laughs> Kenny Rogers. They're going to be dis- disappointed next month when I'm shaved. Like, you're not going to be shaved. It's no, not. We're... You have one week until it's next month. You're, yeah, I'm going to. You're going to go home and I meant shave. I do it before this month. I yeah. shave and I get a haircut twice a year. Ten bucks says Mark looks exactly the same the next month. It's time for cut. And Ten it's not because of you fuckers calling me Mark, a caveman. They don't call you caveman. They call you Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Kenny Rogers. By the time, here's what's really uh, going to happen. No, there were a bunch of comments. By the, the end other day, of next like, month, the caveman sitting back there. <laughs> next month, we're going to have some. Oh, let's get. I want to get some backdrops, I and mean, we should get one of them of Kenny Rogers' band. <laughs> That would be great. And we'll bring in a guitar. That's going to be great. Now all the pieces come together. Excellent. Expand. Spreads like goo. Solder balls fucking everywhere. That poor thing. Oh, my God. Now we got to relive Agree all with here. Kenny Rogers. It's like five minutes. Smells so good. Oh, my God. Uh, balls. Whatever. Underfill. Balls. Shiny balls. Oh, sorry, Raj. I need to go. I will watch this when you upload it. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. And good night. Bye, Raj. Bye, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> Where did those balls come from? Do you think Lewis will stream at 12 a.m.? Yes, I do. Uh, I'm actually surprised he's not streaming right now. Yeah. I rehotted CPU, bro, today. Yeah, Chris, I'm, I'm sure you did. I watched his stream. It was maddening because you know what he was doing? What was he, he doing? Was, he was fixing the exact same thing that Edgar just finished fixing like two minutes later. And then he's all like, you know, it was a success backlight job. And he's like... Well, I could run this jumper from here to here, and I'm just like, just put the fucking test points together. Just one wire, <laughs> nine seconds and done. And I, I had to, I had to leave. It was too painful to, to watch. He did it eventually. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I saw the backlight working, <laughs> so I can only assume. Uh, I would have never thought of that happening like that. Crazy. I did indeed rehot the Chris Long did indeed rehot the CPU like a champ. Hmm. I need to get another RAM chip and see if I can rehot CPU back together. <laughs> oh, okay. There's that. All right. This channel went NC17. Oh, uh, yeah. The, yeah. Maybe R. Is Mark being dirty again? Mark's like kind of dirty. How, how many showers did you take this week? Any? Uh, Zero or one? How many towels did you give me? <laughs> uh, seven. They're all hung in a line in the bathroom right. by yeah. the shower that you never went well, into. They've all been used. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. I think it's rather the underfill that expands. No way. No. Nope. Nope. It's metal. Come on. I, that's a reasonable thought, but it's we've pulled chips off, and like that's not what the problem is. Yeah just got off the phone unmuted and I hear Jessa say look at those big balls my neighbor asks are you watching porn at work that's the porn alert <laughs> <laughs> uh, this phone is what me. phone is that it's, it's, it's a phone so what you're saying is pull a chip clean the underfill off yes if you have an un- you can replace underfill chips you just have to deal with the underfill and get rid of all of it yes iPhone 6 prior repair attempt. They changed the PMIC. Great. For no reason. Even better. I test it no short at all. And at DC power, it's just the, you know, low amp. They have killed the CPU. Just like the stream we did last, the last time we streamed, if, and this happens all the time, this drives me crazy as well. There's, if you, if you try to reflow the PMIC for no reason, because that is almost never needed, and you shift it, then you can bridge together two lines. It doesn't have to be short to ground, just bridge together. And then when you send VCC main into the CPU, CPU doesn't like it. And even after you change the PMIC or fix all that, that phone is dead. So those 0.4 amps, the only other thing it could be would be crystal. But other than that, sounds like dead CPU. All right. Uh, Do you have any book on phone repairs? No. All right. General question would be a good idea to add high temperature component protection coating. No, to protect, no. Totally unnecessary. All you need is the iPad Rehab official heat sink. A quarter, yay. That's all you need. No captain tape, none of that stuff. Just add 
a place for the heat to go. End of the quarter, you're done. All right, Jason Smith uh, gives, donates two bucks. Thanks, Jason Smith. Nobody ever donates on my channel. I just have to hear about how uh, Lewis would made like 200 and some bucks on his, on his stream. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what was painful, Mark, with Lewis <laughs> and his fucking donations and shit. Yeah. The, the, you know that kid that I gave $200 to as a kind-hearted donation because his shop got broken into? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that kid. I uh -huh. give this kid 200 bucks to help him because he has no money. And then I'm watching Lewis's stream, and I see the kid that I gave 200 bucks to for free to be nice give fucking Lewis five bucks, just a donation to Lewis, who, you know, Lewis gets five bucks. And, and then he asks, is his $5 donation is to ask Lewis, can you make an Amazon link to some multimeter so that he can then click on Lewis's Amazon link <laughs> to use my money to buy more <laughs> shit, to give Lewis more, more money. And then, uh, and then the funniest thing is that Lewis said, no, thanks for the five bucks. Why don't you just click any of my links Go to Amazon, search for that shit yourself, buy it, <laughs> and we'll all be happy. And I'm like, not me. You know? <laughs> so I have to hear the constant fucking trolling about, uh, you know, my iPad rehab and, and Dude, money. Thank just... you for the five bucks. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lewis owes me. Thanks, Jessa, for the five bucks. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see. Destruction for science. Yes. Can you cr can you create a book for teaching? No. I teach a class. I just did it. It was great. Everybody was super <laughs> happy. 10 out of 10 evaluations across the board, and it was great. I'm not writing a book. Um, thanks to you, I found my first short. Yay. By feeling for heat. Yay. It actually smoked. Hope you weren't using your lips then. Just waiting some proper equipment. Yay. Well, that sounds great. Using my iPhone. Where is the donation button? Jesus is going to send me some money. <laughs> it's supposed to be the other way around, isn't it? Uh, when are you going to start streaming on Twitch also? I'm pretty sure I am, or at least I clicked to stream to Twitch. Um, uh, but I don't see any Twitch comments, so I'm guessing that that quit. Oh wait, she is. Great. iOS can't donate. Blame, blame Google. Uh, wait, why would you see. blame Google if iOS can't donate? Uh, I don't know. Because YouTube is a Google product and they don't let people on iOS donate. It's can't believe people still change the screen without disconnecting the battery. Me neither. Me neither. I can't believe Apple authorized service providers change the screen without <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I can't believe that Apple authorized service providers. Oh, did you hear this? That Gord I want to put up Gordon's video, which I thought was great, on Apple authorized service providers. He called him up, he's in Belgium and he has this phone that has a cracked back lens and said, What can you do for me? And they were like, Oh, you gotta replace the phone. Three hundred and eighty nine euros or something crazy like that. So he records the conversation and then he makes this video where he splices into the video himself changing a back camera lens, which takes a couple minutes, you know, mm -hmm. and then he puts it all back together. He's like, I did this for three bucks. And uh, so he got a he got a call today from Apple authorized service provider saying, take that video down, motherfucker, within 24 hours or we're going to sue the pants off you. And did he tell him to get fucked? I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, I, I would say. I need something in writing, and I and in oh, the yeah. meantime, I yeah. mean, I would, I would, I agree with what Lewis did on that, which is to just say, I need something in writing, yeah, I which I can then requests. show the world. You know, <laughs> look, these douchebags made me take down my video, and um, no, not even made me take down. Ask yeah, exactly. me to take down. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, circumcision lady parts. Yes. Exactly. Do you touch PS3s? Plus threes is that's how it's pronounced. <sighs> That's not true. Mark. There was the puss. There was the puss two. Now there's that, the puss three. There's the puss four. That's not, I'm a Twitch user. I'm I'm in the know about gaming <laughs> systems. That's that's not true. All right. I want to thank you. Been binging your videos and inspired me to change the front of my iPhone and the battery. Awesome. That is great. No pride damage. Yay. All right. Let's get to the end of this because I'm ready to be done. Uh, you're, you're, you're just getting farther behind. No, I'm not. No, nobody watches this. There's like 10 comments. It's fine. You were 17 minutes behind when we started, and now you're 12. So we're no, I'm there. not. I'm fine. It's all I use. <laughs> some kind of... Did you go to China? Not yet. Do, Joe, let's go to China together. 
You're like even closer to China than I am. Does here's, he here's, live in Washington? Yeah, he does. He lives in Washington State. Let's go to China and go learn how to like get really serious about all the CPU stuff. I think totally doable. It's going to be easy. The only thing I'm afraid of is Jason was telling me he just I just read this comment from Jason where he said. Uh, when I went to China, I had to shit in so many holes. I came back with quads that were sick. That's what he said. Yeah. I had to shit in so many holes in China that I came back with quads that were sick. I mean, he I would was, like to get sick quads, he but... He was just referring to what was expected from him from Ladies of the Night. What? <laughs> God. So now I don't know about China. I definitely still want to go, but, you know, I got to... I gotta, I gotta bring a porta potty, something like that. Um, tweezer talk. I oh good, I deleted that comment about follow me on Instagram. Fantastic. Any good software to recover photos from an iPhone once they've been deleted from the recycle bin? Not really. You could do like the logical people could probably do that. If you could, you know, the people that have the Celebrite stuff, they could probably get that stuff. Uh. I think every time now, when you guys start the stream, there should be Danger Zone intro. <laughs> Stop Kenny with Loggins, the not Kenny Rogers, <laughs> but I do agree, Danger Zone is an awesome song. That would be pretty funny. All right. Why is Lewis obsessed with fume extraction, yet you don't use it? Yes, I do. I got a fume extractor right here. See? It's the exact same one Lewis has. Uh, I turned it on twice this week. Okay. So there. Yeah, well, not while I was here. Yes, you were. Didn't hear it. Right. I'll take that bet, Jessa. What bet? I don't remember a bet. Did I make a bet? Oh, yeah. The bet on Mark? Yeah, let's do it. What? Virtual shake. What's the bet? Don't worry about it. You already forgot. Oh, okay. Jessa, I called Sunday. Good. Last night, no reply. Oh, she did. She's on vacation, dude. The biz, if, if you called Sunday <laughs> and on this phone, you called me and I didn't answer it. And guess what? I'm not going to answer it and I'm not calling you back. So put that in your pipe, Michael Oberdick. You got to call Sunday when Sunday is not in New York City. Oh, that's Oberdick? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I told him to call days ago. Days ago. Not wait until Sunday goes to New York City and then start calling us. No, because me and Mark, not answer that phone. The idea of a toilet bowl never reached China. They can copy a CPU, but not <laughs> basic necessities like a toilet. Yeah. All right. Have I looked into some kind of GPUs? Well, no. Why the hell would I do that? Do I look like Lewis? No, I don't do anything about chips. And that's like boy stuff. All right. Uh, what is wrong with the iPhone 6 backlight? Uh, short to ground? Diodes, filters, coils, backlight IC changed and still no backlight. Doesn't sound like, didn't sound, I don't hear anything about looking for short to ground like we just did here. We just learned. That was the whole fucking lesson of this. <sighs> um, if you've got no backlight after a touch IC, how would the filter fail? Just tell me that. Heat, touch IC. Round mason, heat, 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 heat transferring through the board. You got heat. How does that make a filter fail? What mechanism? It doesn't. So it's not going to be the filters. How does it make a diode fail? It doesn't. So changing the diodes is a waste of time. And just, this is all please bro solutions. Like I know that like if you go to the, if you go to look at like Philippe's solutions, it'll be like do, 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 you know, one, two, three, but just stop, just stop and think about it. What happens? What happens when you heat an underfilled chip like we just did? We just did it. Please. Seriously. I mean, this kills me. I want to quit. What, I'm going to shoot myself the in the face. It's no backlight after touch IC. On the iPhone 6? Yeah. Yeah, you just heated up the underfilled backlight drive. I know that. You know that. But how come this person is changing filters and diodes? Because they didn't do any troubleshooting or go to a course where people will teach them how to do troubleshooting. Yeah. So just, you know, let, just think. I had a phone that was working. It had backlight. I changed the touch ICs, which means I put heat on the board. I put enough heat on the board to cause a problem somewhere else. That problem is in the backlight circuit. I flip the board over and I look at the relationship between the touch IC I changed and the 
backlight driver chip. I look, does the backlight driver chip have underfill? Yes, it does. Do underfilled chips like heat? Like this fucking one on this fucking stream that I just did. No, they don't like heat. What happened here? Let's think. Did I short to ground something at the connector and kill a filter? Did I get a you know cap that decided to just fucking turn into a wire for no reason? Or did I heat up an underfilled chip in a way that made it separate from the board and that was my underlying problem? You said that you replaced the backlight driver. Obviously, I mean that's the only thing it could be. You didn't do it, you didn't do it well, and that's why you still don't have a backlight. Uh, shoot me now. All right, what else? Let's get to the end of this. Uh, have a nice weekend, Lewis or Jessa? Yay, somebody picked Jessa. Woo! Well, we're just about done, so we can all go watch Lewis. Chris Long says, heat, 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 heat. Yeah, Chris Long is also being driven crazy, just like I was when I was watching him not make a wire between the two test points. But he figured it out. He's a smart guy. All right. It's backlight I see. Yes, Teddy Betty Bear one. All right, spewed out balls from an IC. Yes, all right, somebody's getting it. Stockholm, maybe. What? <laughs> what? What does, uh, what, does the, what does the NFC chip have to do with backlight? Tell me. Well, I, that, that is reasonable. Oh, if, spell it out. Because the person could be confusing no backlight with no boot, and Stockholm will cause no boot. And nobody's that dumb. Be a <laughs> no, no, so, no. Somebody, nobody's doing all that. No, if, if someone, if Facebook someone groups. is is <laughs> is saying I don't have backlight because their phone's not turning on, I I quit. I just I just I can't handle it. I just every, can't handle it. Here's the thing. Here's day. the problem with Friday at the you know like the kid, the <laughs> students are all smart. Like now on Friday, like like oh, yeah. I I was really impressed did with. You, uh, did you go over the uh, the <coughs> post test? No, I didn't. Did you? No, I didn't look at them. I'm. I, I bet it's gonna be like. Let's look at a few. Huge difference. Let's look at a few. Grab one. Let's look at one. Wait, where did where did they put them? Probably back in their drawer. Oh. Yeah. Let's look at the post test. The let's look at the post test. Who do you think is most improved? In the drawers. I think most improved. I want to see Ralph's. I bet Ralph's is gonna be most improved. I. Know where Ralph at. or not, Dave? They're not at stations. They might have taken them with them. Why did they take them with them? I don't know. We, we, were got, supposed we to got one. One. All right. Let's see. Oh, Rob. Feedback. Never mind. Oh. Here. Yeah. Is that one? Did he you take it? One. Did he take it twice? No, this is still from Monday. He, he didn't take it twice. He didn't take it twice. Oh, Robert. Nope. They're not yours. All right. We can't do that. Okay. Let's get. Let's get. Could you ever do a live collaboration with Lewis, or did you ever did? I would, you know, I I'm happy to collaborate with Lewis anytime. I did I did go do his grandma video, and you know, which was fun. That was just kind of random when I was visiting. Um, what I want to do with him live is to see which one of us can get banned off of the Apple support community forum first, just for providing normal answers to real questions. Oh, That's, I wanted quick. to do that for a while. It'll be a short video. It'll be a short video. <laughs> oh, this was gonna be a, this was gonna be a, a short video. Jessica gets frustrated very quickly on Fridays. Yes, at the end of course week. Oh, I sure do. Oh, uh, let's see. Better JBC uh, equipment question, I don't know. Uh, more stuff. Cheers. Good night. Yay. No way to recover. Gotta admire that Jessa, despite it all, still explains the heated chip again like a proper teacher. Kind of. I do say fuck a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he said he changed the driver. I see. I get that, but that's the only thing it could be. It's that. That's it. So you didn't change it well. You got to make it actually go back on there and and uh, and and fit. Oh, Chris Long thinks it's no boot. Really? No, I can't. I just can't. No, that better not be true. No. Uh, nobody's that dumb right after you yelled at someone for nothing. I just can't. I can't accept that. No, I can't. He said he changed backlight IC. Not well. Something else might be fucked. No, it's, it's, no, it's not. 
And then I need to click the power button a few times to start backlight working. What? Fireside molecular theory. All right. And it is, at, and we got to the end. Yay. All right. And now I'm going to go get the data off of this phone. And I think that's going to be my last job for the day. Yay. Have a great weekend, everybody.